F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fams? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R friend request reviews. We're friend requests, friends to watch. Sicario. Okay, for y'all that don't know, this is another movie request coming from Pig over on Patreon. So let's give a big shout out to Pig. Thank you. First of all, I want to apologize to Pig as well for missing, you know, missing an opportunity. We we had one movie before. I you know I had some technical difficulties, and you know we had to move on to this one, but. You know, I've heard good things about this movie. I never really checked it out. Um, I don't know who plays in it. Don't know what it's about. But from what I've heard, I've heard, you know, I've heard people say it's a good movie. So hopefully that's the case here. As as per usual, the Patreon requests don't miss. You know, we've only had one that's really hasn't hit the mark. Can't wait for y'all to see that over on YouTube. But um, yeah, man, we, we, we back to we back to the back twos. How about you, Former? How you feel going into this movie request? Uh, I feel good. I, I've, I feel like I've heard that this movie was pretty good, too, especially since starting the, the YouTube channel. I, I feel like it's been dropped in the comments a couple of times. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Pig for requesting it. Uh, Sicario, right? That's a cartelli hitter, right? Cartelli hitman. So I think that's what it means. Okay. Freaking. So, um, yeah, I expect it to be something gruesome. I do know that Thanos is in this movie though. That's the only actor I'm pretty I'm pretty sure is in this movie. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what it's what else it's about. Like I said, Sicario I'm pretty sure is a cartel hitman, so I can only assume we're about to get into some some gangster stuff here. Um, but I'm just interested in how like how it's gonna be shot. Like, is is are we on the cartel side? Is it gonna be like? Uh, that movie End of Watch Like that movie was fire So if there's anything like that I'm ready So Let's do it Listen y'all We're not gonna hold you here Any longer We're just gonna dive Into this movie request So if you haven't already Don't forget to like Don't forget to comment And also don't forget to subscribe Okay The goal is uh, 10k Only way we're gonna get there though Is if you click that button Also click that bell So you get notified When we Go Live Let's get it. Sicario. I remember I had saw this random like YouTube interview of like some random guy going to Mexico interviewing like cartel hitmen. And I think that's what he said. I think he said we're called Sicarios. Mm. So that's why I'm like, okay. Okay. Let's get it. I'm uh, you already know I love when the the cartel get into the mix. Bring back those uh, BCS days. Man. <laughs> I was thinking End of Watch. You ever seen that movie? End of Watch. No. Oh, bruh. Okay, here we go. The worst of cardio comes from the zealots of Jerusalem. Killers who hunted the Romans who invaded their homeland. Mm. Mm. In Mexico, Sicar yep, means hit man. Mm. Yep, yep. <laughs> Shout out to random YouTube videos that you just <laughs> stroll upon. <laughs> okay, so we we what, what we going after hit? Okay, yep, we going after hitter. Oh shit, that's uh, uh Emily Blunt. Oh, they just about to bust through the crib. They really is! Yo, that's insane! You know all these rooms ain't clear. There's gotta be somebody back here. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! Are you hit? I'm good. She was on the verge of being not good. Facts. Whoa. Oh, that's where they hide the drugs at. Inside the walls. Ooh. Wait. That's a body. I know. It look like blood. Mm. 
Oh shit, they yeah. This I'll be shit going through it too. Ready. Mm -hmm. I'm about to move my seat in, y'all. Yeah, get comfy. <laughs> Pillow already mm -hmm. in the back, so I'm good. They might have some live there because they was going there looking Bigger. for hostages. Right? Oh, so you think there's live people in there? That would yeah, be crazy. They was looking for hostages when they first came. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was Mr. Warbucks in that. Oh, oh shit. shit! God damn, man. That shit scared the fuck out of me. What about your partner? Is he good? Did he get out? Yeah, did he get out? Oh, yeah, he right there. <laughs> did he <just> get out? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. That's it. blood coming. Oh, oh! Sh okay, okay, pig. Yo, we locked. Real. We yeah. locked in, baby. Oh. Let's go. This shit about to get crazy. Why are everybody looking at me like this? Quite a fine today. The loss of two officers notwithstanding. Hmm. Yes, sir. Manuel Diaz works for the Sonora Cartel. He's most likely their senior member in the United States. What do you know about his brother? I wasn't aware he had one. Hmm. Guillermo. Are you married? Am I married? Hmm. Or do you have a husband? We gonna need you. A divorce? Okay. Kids? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, we gonna need you. It's I unfortunate. Know. Well, I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was just gonna say this man out here with his informal gap shirt and then they scroll down to some <laughs> flips like the thongs. Yep. Don't ever get the thongs, y'all. Always get slides. You know we're gonna go see Guillermo. Diaz's mm. brother. That's the one. Where is he? Oh, he's in the El Paso area. Area. What's our objective? Exactly. What's the mission? To dramatically overreact. Mm. Huh. <laughs> I like that response. Mama, va a venir a café huevos. Tenemos prisa, mamá. Sí, sí, mi Can't see his face, but he, I think he looks familiar. Okay, no. Nah, that ain't nacho, bro. No, <laughs> why would you say? <laughs> I wasn't gonna say nacho. <laughs> nah, he do look familiar. He though. does, right? This man is drinking algae with the coffee. Okay, okay, this is the police house that we just. Okay, so he's an officer. <clears throat> That's why he's drinking. <laughs> yeah, he probably on the pay tomorrow, though, right? Nah, if he's drinking, he's probably not on the payroll. <laughs> because he's, he got to live that justice life in a corrupt system. Like. Fuck, okay, okay, okay. See what the man said. Wait, so he didn't get chosen, but he's chauffeuring? I'd have been like, man, you on your own. She's on the list, but you're not. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's exactly what I was looking at. But that's her partner, up. though, so I don't blame him. Yeah, yeah. He rode her all the way. DOD flies around in private jets, huh? Yeah, you guys don't have one of these? Right. <laughs> Ain't that... Oh! Um, that's who that is. That's freaking... The collector. The fear and loathing shit we were Yeah, 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 yeah. The lawyer. The lawyer. <laughs> we're going to El Paso, right? Man got yeah, a freaking right. tangerine busted on his head. Okay. You remember that? <laughs> Straight exploded on that man's <laughs> They used to do shit like that to us in basic training. That's, like, that's why that, that shit was so funny to me. <laughs> that man got some PTSD or something. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Is there anything I should know? Hmm. For now, let's just keep an eye on the time. Do it, Daddy. How you been? Good, but how you feeling? Well, when I pee, it burns. <laughs> Maybe it's going to rear. That's not good. It? What color is Yellow it? Yellow with red specks. Oh. Red specks are blood. 
No. So who's going over there today? Marshalls, DEA. I pulled a team for you, man. Oh, man, I love it when you say a team. Makes me all warm and fuzzy. Oh, they're a crack bunch, too. Just rotated back from Afghanistan. Mm. <laughs> so they just came back from deployment. <clears throat> He has a lot of look familiar to serial yep. killer looking driver too. Like, see, that's coming with or waiting here. I will take the tour with you. Loan us a couple pop guns. Right. Dude, that's Dodd. Fair. That is Dodd. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Dodd. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's. <laughs> I'm like this motherfucker look hella familiar. You're not American. Oh, I go where I'm sent. Where are you sent? I'm sent. Cartagena. Cartagena? The hell's that? Colombia. Okay. Nothing will make sense to your American ears. Hmm. And you will doubt everything that we do. Hmm. But in the end, you will understand. Hmm. Okay. Sound like one of those kind of movies. Fine, then stay here. But you don't want to, do you? I just want to know what I'm getting into. Okay, you volunteered to get on this train because you, you know you're doing nothing in Phoenix. Okay, you're just sweeping up a fucking mess. Damn. Do you want to find the guys responsible, yes or no? Yes. Yes? Yes. This is where we start. How many houses will be rigged with explode? What? I wasn't even thinking about that. She asked if he's CIA. That's even worse. Cause we know how secretive them mugs is. They be. I don't. <laughs> really don't know much about the CIA. They'll let you, they'll let you run a drug operation in your neighborhood if it could benefit them. Mm. And and some shit that they got. Nah, let me not say nothing. They about to, <laughs> they about to chat. They gonna set to If I hear a loud boom, I know exactly what happened. They backed up into Formal's crib. I'll just say what they say online. Do your own research. <laughs> Do your own research. Uh, it's funny that he says that because that is what people be saying online and shit like. They only dismember people who are. But like, how do you know it? Unless you're really with the shits. You hear that? Look at that, all those missing girls. Those aren't firecrackers. Hmm. Those aren't firecrackers. Mexicans are adjusting our route. There's activity ahead, we need to go around. I didn't pick up on that. You didn't pick up on what? They transported somebody. But they already got it. And yeah, okay, that's why they said, it. It's not over until we're back. Until we're back here. That's when it's over. This shit like that movie SWAT. One million dollars for whoever gets me free. <laughs> Had the whole city coming after the ass in the transport. Okay, he stopped. Is that good or bad? How are you gonna get past this traffic here? Everyone stay frosty. Facts. Nasty. Whoa! Okay, it's a fuck up. What are we gonna do now? Because if anything pop off, they gotta be hella careful not to hurt no civilians. Oh no! This is not good. Mm. Mm hmm. Start so looking at everybody. Gotta be suspicious. Up. Oh. They about to judge a book. Hey, hey! You got me. <laughs> you got me. I got judged immediately. <laughs> Gun. Gun. Mm. Gun left. Ooh. Where are the rules here? Thank you, I didn't get out. Oh, this shit, shit is real. This shit is intense right now. With a dog mm, that they can't They got shut guns up. too. Yep. They didn't see the guns in this car. Huh? He about to do it. Pregunta, paisanos. He yeah. young. He got to prove it. morir. Damn. What are we doing? What you think we're doing? We're trying to live here. Damn. There Ooh. we go, Dodd. There Ooh. we go. That man got the quick reflexes. Oh, oh nice. 
Damn. Nice. I didn't even see that. Nice. Even watch out for the Federal rallies. That's crazy. Fire. That's wicked, son. Fire. Like, literally right in front of fucking civilians and, like, look at this shit. She just watched that shit right in her face, like. And they talking about it's not even going to be on the news in El Paso. Yo. Mm. I believe him. Yeah. Yeah, that was fucking illegal. You want to start a war? Here You're we go. Okay. She's by the book type of okay. That's why he said you're going to question everything we do. Okay. He about to get the belt call. He about to get the belt call. You can see it in his eyes. That man, like, you see the print. <laughs> I'm gonna step out. <laughs> I'm gonna step out. Why? Why is this man? Mm. Pour it off. You know what this means. No. No. I don't even I smoke and I need to smoke. Already. <laughs> it only took one day in Mexico. She ain't never smoked a cigarette in her day in her life. That shit is not lit. Cut it out. <laughs> like fireworks? Huh? Wanna see something cool? That shit definitely not lit now. That cigarette definitely not lit right now. Like, it was never lit, but they need to just stop. Just throw that <laughs> shit. Like why, like, why you even got to write shit like that in the movie if it's if it's not to that? Like, Yo, you hit that shit one more time. I'm boycotting Sicario. <laughs> 7.5 for life. Oh. Mm. What happens when you chop the head off a chicken? Yeah. Oh. You can see. Are we going to Tucson? Yeah, you gotta <laughs> learn how to sleep on a plane. Hmm. They let me on a base and you need to ride, don't they? Okay. Who's that? We're going to Tucson. <laughs> Damn. Poor him. Hand in the circle, but they really got him playing chauffeur. Like, yep, get in. She's one of them now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play us. with you anymore. Everything okay? It was very serious. <laughs> There's inner darkness the way you're treating us. I want to know the objective for our walk, period. I didn't go. I didn't ask you to be here. We don't need a chauffeur. Yeah, they want Kate. Oh, there we go. What do you want to know? Everything. Everything. Fucking lawyers. All right. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Mo. That's why he said he didn't want a lawyer. We are going to make enough noise that Manuel Diaz is called back to Mexico to see his boss. Mm. That's the truth. Okay. We're not even scratching the surface. Doing what we're done. Mm. They are. She eating up they. They. Yep. The yep. Yep. She was in his position just the other day. Uh huh. Looking like they won her over already. That deposit receipt, you Heimlich it right out of her, you hear me? <laughs> They've been in this position before, huh? Hell yeah. What you got? A mobile money launderer. Let me just get one of those. Pack it up. Just one. Come on. No, don't go in the bank. This is something we can actually build a case on. Don't go in the bank, Kate. There you go, and she's going in the back. <laughs> mm. 
I was just gonna say, does that make her a target? Oh, no. everything they got, they got. Everything yeah. we got, they got. I guess I should say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to, to make it less confusing, but. It's a bogus bust, Kate. What? You can't prosecute it. No one controls who deposits money in an account. An attorney will have that money back in a few months, but a lot of heads will roll before but that. But we can arrest Manuel for now. We can get him off the street. You gotta get Manuel called back to Mexico. That's the objective. We have no jurisdiction it. in Mexico. We have nothing. We need to do something now. Can't arrest him. Mm, is that where the tunnels come in play? How you feel about this? Your money? Huh? Mm hmm Mm. Then he got the is. damn bands that he uses. Are you understanding me? These decisions are made far from here hmm. by officials elected to office, not hmm. appointed to them. <laughs> so if your fear is operating out of bounds, I am telling you, you are not. Yeah, you got the green light from the president. <laughs> I need a fucking drink. Where do you want to go? Anywhere. They walking like fucking Avengers, like they fucking. Oh man. Are we being watched right now? These these shots be. Okay, yep. Is that the Punisher? Where? You ain't see him behind her? That walk after you smash your best friend's wife and then he comes back from the dead. Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> the... <laughs> she over there checking his. He said divorced. He gave her the green light real quick. Is that what he said? <laughs> he divorced. Don't worry. You can get your rocks off. Eh. Yeah, she definitely needs to loosen up a little bit. Look, and he passed the girl that was in his face off to, to Buddy, like. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. What she needed was a couple of beers to warm up. <laughs> oh, the money band. Oh, oh shit. shit. Corrupt cop. And Maybe. she's about to get bite by this man. Nah, she's does about she to see, it? see it? Does this ruin the mood? Is the question. Of course How it does. Immediately. You? How Look sick at that. are you? Uh, you're too much. Sweet one. Yeah, because she knew I'm once sorry, you licked that button, <laughs> it might be harder to stop. But what does she do here? I think he recognized what's, what's about to happen here. Stop. Stop. Ooh. What the fuck? What the fuck? Ooh. Oh, oh shit. Stop. This is when the strength comes in. Oh, no. Bend the, the fingers, the thumbs. Bend the thumbs. This man really bothered. Who's gonna say? Is somebody gonna say? <coughs> Ooh. That's right, though. He was watching the whole time when they left. <sighs> that was For a second there, I thought he was gonna splatter his shit right over. But this is wow. better, though. This is this is information. You use me as bait. This is insane. Now you use yourself as bait. Huh? Come on. This is good news. I'm gonna call Manuel back soon. Bro, how can you just be so. She just went through a traumatizing, like, situation. Wow. <clears throat> it's wild how quick that order came in, though, bro. She was just in the bank, like, a couple hours before that. That means they got the tape. <laughs> Phoenix PD, hey, handle, handle Bruh, this. You got a target. Not only that, I'm over here thinking she's about to have a great time. It's about to be a good night. It's probably the worst night she's ever had in her life. How many other corrupt motherfuckers are you working with on this side of the border? Yeah, hmm. let us know. Piece of shit. Look, it's, 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 it's exactly what I told you, all right? They just... Ah, ah, fuck! Mm. Okay! Okay! Fuck, okay! Fuck, fuck. ripping okay, his okay, eyes. Okay, okay, is not what we're looking for, Ted. What I'm just realizing is this man's face is freaking fully blooded. Yeah. Cause no one's gonna notice a few more scratches. Exactly. Hmm. I decide. 
whether you go to prison in a work camp in Missouri or kill Huxley Corp. Hmm. I'm sorry if I this man. fucked it up. Boy, Get it the fuck out. I'll tell you, I'll tell you everything you want to know. You just gotta promise me I'm to My daughters are gonna be safe, okay? You make me that promise. How are you feeling? I just tried to have sex with my head. To <laughs> Uh, you know, assassin. He just wanted to know what you know. Yeah. Oh. After us. He was gonna pillow talk your shit. Okay. Tomorrow they'll come and we'll get back to Mexico, and we'll cut a leg from them. Yep. Holy shit. What? They they do really good at carrying over the intensity from scene to scene. I can't lie, like. <clears throat> and then you just got these panned out, <laughs> yeah. panned out transitions and shit. Mm -hmm. Then boom, intensity, tension, <laughs> sweat. Okay, this guy again. Hey, 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 no. hey. Exactly. It's an old ass to come. Did you did you tell your partner about this? What happened? Huh? This is the dude with the pool, right? Yeah, Manuel, I think, right? Well, you two went crying to daddy yesterday, oh, and we don't want daddy break. to know everything. Mm. Get you some extra gear. Yeah, that's it. That's why you're here. Wow. He was trying to plug you in, though. Yeah, yeah he might have been using her, but he was trying to plug her in. Stop like it. he said, y'all went crying to daddy. That's very true, but that is fucked up. And that's why he said he didn't want the lawyer, because this nigga sitting there lipping that shit word for word. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> like, we don't yep. have to do this. I need to know what they used this for. It doesn't matter what. Yes, it does. I said you walk. We walk make you beat this whole fucked up operation. No. That's very true. They know she has to know too. That's why they picked her. They know she a go getter. She was in charge of the kidnapping shit. You can't. You got to be a go getter to to be dealing with kidnapping. Mm -hmm. Wow, though. What a what a, what a movie. This movie so far is turning up really really good. I love, yeah, love this shit. Oh shit! Let me get one of those, please. To go. <laughs> if it's filled with weed, I'll take it. I mean, regardless, <laughs> I'll mm -hmm. I'll give that. For the cheapos who wanted 10 bricks 10 10 10 oh, stacks else. come get it i don't want that responsibility not facts well oh wait like he's cricket yeah that, cricket. i just <laughs> noticed that i was like that shiny bald ass head <laughs> yeah they gave us that good. they gave us that angle for a reason keep your fucking safeties on barrels pointed down Stay in the back. Don't shoot anyone on my fucking team. Mm. Right? Talking to us like we ain't... We ain't do nothing. We ain't about nothing. What are you talking about? You me? You say y'all some rookies. What are the rules of engagement? Weapons free, my friend. Weapons free. Mm -hmm. Weapons free, boys. I was waiting for that order. He asked, what's the ROE? We'll get to that later. Did you see her face though? Like the small portion that they showed, she looked shocked. She's like, oh my God. Yeah, her and buddy. Oh my God. This is, it's not a part of protocol. You okay? Gun. Leave it. Stay in my seat. Her gun. Uh, hello? Can I get a weapon? Oh, hell no. Mmm, they right there. Oh. That shit is pit at. Damn, this nigga just trying to get home to his son. Oh, shit. Oh, Freeze! Step away from him. 
Put that down. I mean it. Move away from him right now. Oh. What? What is happening? What is happening right now? Don't ever point a weapon at me again. Oh. Catch your breath. And get back up there. Huh. He's just showing her a lesson? What the fuck? Yeah, she be asking too much questions. He told her as. You ain't gonna understand the shit we doing. ¿Cómo te llamas? Silvio. Silvio, vas a salir en la 56, la carretera estatal. Tengo un hijo. That was a clean, clean fucking hop, my friend. Except for these two assholes. Damn. Where's King? I thought she was with you. We gotta go back. Oh shit. Boys, we're missing one. Let's go. Deck. Mm. Just relax. Just relax. You listen. You went at the wrong tunnel. On purpose. You know she did. You saw things you shouldn't have seen. Mm. And until somebody finds a way to convince 20% of the population to stop snorting and smoking that shit, order's the best we can hope for. Hmm. He works for the competition. Mm. For anyone who That's what it is. Who made him. They cut off his wife's head. Hmm. And threw his daughter into a vat of acid. Mm. So is that who he was thinking about when he said that he sees something in her? Hmm. But he also works for the Columbia Cartel. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Okay. Otra vez. Levante la chamarra. Date vuelta. Get out and what? Arrest him? ¿Qué quieres? Mmm. te muevas, cabroncito. ¿Sabes quién soy? Yo soy un jefe. Acuéstate. Did he kill? He killed him, right? I think so. Damn. It's cold. Cause that shit just gonna go down as a drug hit cause he still got a couple fucking packages in the trunk. Uh, for a second thing I thought he was gonna move a leg or something, but yeah, it's not that type of movie. Manuel, comprobado. Mm. <sighs> this man is Look, he is a Sicario. He just ain't a Mexican Sicario. He a fucking Colombian one. He the real main character of this movie. Señor Diaz. Mmm. Oh, he holding his shit. Ooh. This dude this is... man on his Hanzi, son. Yes. This man versus Lalo, though. Who you got? <laughs> Lalo all day. Hell nah, this thing right here is going crazy. When you talk about Lalo took out a whole bunch of dudes that were ambushing him in the that's compound true. like this. Nah, that's true. That's why I thought about it. I was yeah. like, yeah. who am I going to compare this man again? Just going to walk out like nothing. Bruh, he really about to catch this man at dinner with the family. Every night you have families killed. Hmm. And yet, that's the, that's the boy. Mm hmm. With yours. That that boy, he's from BCS. He's one of the twins. Do you think the people that sent you here are any different? Hmm. Who do you think we learned it from? Hmm. Mm, I don't want. Nah. Well, nah, he right, but he just copping the plea, though. No foot pass on that. Mm. He knows. He brought it back to Spanish. I want the boys to understand. Para mi si. 
course it was. Hell yeah. Shit. I'm from my boys. Tuh. What was I gonna say that you? Hmm. Not in nigga, not in front of my boys. So I'ma do that first. Oh, this shit is crazy. From the heart. Go ahead and finish your meal. Yo. <laughs> this nigga bad disrespectful. Yo, this movie's insane. The man is Yo. Yo. Yes. Man. Yes. I can't oh lie. Something God. told me the direction this man is moving, he's probably gonna kill all they ass, but uh, nah. I still was like Nah. It did it nah. didn't cross my head. It didn't cross what? My head. This nigga's been vicious, bro. He like, has been, but I I, been. I thought he was gonna sit, tell the wife to take the kids away. Wow, he just did. That man lost his wife and his daughter. So I understand. I understand. He like I ain't think he was that type. I a... would recommend not standing on balconies for a while, Kate. Ooh, yeah. Put the fear in your heart real quick, didn't it? Shorty been through too much in this past. I mean, week she's or so huh? yeah. Shit, man. She's been lied to all types of shit. So yeah, it's kind of hard. Good. Mm, he got the glove on. He does. What is going on here? You look like a little girl when you're scared. <laughs> she does. You remind me of the daughter they took away from me. Mm. That's yep. not the wife. And that might save your ass, <laughs> to be honest. I need you to sign this piece of paper. It basically says that everything we did was done by the book. <laughs> oh shit. This is that crossroad in the, in the yeah. movie. Do you compromise your morals or do you just sign that shit and get these people out of your life for the rest of your life? Hmm. You already know. You already Husband, know. No kids, nobody to come looking for your ass. And on top of that, it's like, dude, would they really even care? Like, what happens, sir? He did save you. But he also told her, don't fucking point no gun at me ever again. Yeah, just, just let right. this shit go. This. Exactly. Like, why just, put yourself back in the game that you yeah, just exactly. got out of? Like, exactly. Just like you're out of it. Let it go. Don't worry about it. Get some therapy. And just live your life. Yeah. Let your partner crack, too. Mm. Damn. No soccer. That's crazy, too. He probably goes to sleep before his dad comes home and shit. One more day. Yep. Wow. Sicario. Holy shit. What a movie. I there we have it. Sicario in the books. Pig. Thank you for this phenomenal request right here. This movie was was amazing, man. I gotta say it was amazing. Um, storytelling, direction, um, intensity. Uh, it, it, it had everything you you would want in a in a in a phenomenal movie. Like, it, just to be honest, like this, it had everything. It had great acting, you know, subplots, main plots, all that coming in to make a a really really good movie. So overall, I, I thought this movie was amazing, man. How about you, Formal? What's your thoughts on this one? 
Yeah, man. Uh, shout outs to you, Pig. It's it's kind of funny because I feel like I had an opportunity to go watch this movie like as a group, but somehow it got outvoted by another movie that was in the theater at the time. Mm. And now I'm kind of mad at that group because <laughs> <laughs> this would have been crazy to watch in theater. Like, um, because I agree with everything you said. Like it was really intense moments. There was some really good shots. Like I love the just panned out view of just like beautiful backdrop the skyline the desert and stuff like that like they had a lot of nice shots like that the pacing i thought was also really good too this was a little bit on you know almost two hours so slightly longer um but i thought the pacing was really good because they they just kind of broke apart those intense moments with just like really good scenery shots or just like some more information, information dump on yeah. like you know what's next what's the next move it, mm -hmm. it never really felt like you were lingering too long um in, in a sp uh, specific spot so this was this was a good one i would say anything anything and everything that you would need to include in a in a movie that involves the cartel versus the alphabet boys like mm -hmm. i feel like they they had it here like corruption money fucking tunnels politics stuff like that it was all there so it's a banger Definitely a banger, and and, and and just saying the word banger is pretty much how we started the movie with a mm. huge bang. Um, was not expecting that going in. Obviously, you know, Formal said that had to deal with a hitman and all that, but we're still trying to figure out going into this was it like, are we going to be on the police side, or, we, or is it just something that we're going to be like literally in the cartel? So, I love that we, we started off with someone who was removed from that type of uh, environment. Someone that's not really in the whole, we're looking for cartels, drugs, those type of things. And um, I, I, I love the way they started it. You know, they, they gave us the, the bodies in the, in the crib, bomb going off. That pretty much gave us the motivation for why we're going on this mission. Um, but then the whole time you're wondering, why is she in this mission? You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what I love most about this movie is because you're pretty much her throughout this movie. You don't know what the fuck is going on, but you're along for the ride. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why this movie does so well, because as you move along throughout the movie, it slowly peels another layer of what's what's going on here. And then eventually, you know, we get to the to the meets and really then we really figure out what's what's going on here. So. I think just the beginning, how they set it up, was just a beautiful way to set this movie into motion. Yeah, I agree. To, yeah, the the beginning, the beginning was great. It almost makes you wonder how <laughs> how far ahead were they uh, when it came to setting this girl up and and getting her into the task yeah, force to use right? her. You know, like what if they dumped that intel on them because they knew it wasn't an actual kidnapping? Because that's what they were going in for hostages and shit. Like, yep. But it was actual dead bodies and whole mm. cartelly shit. Like, so what if they somehow leaked that information? Like, oh, there's a hostage situation here. But they knew it was what it was, just so they could wrap her back into into the things. But Ooh, um, I like that. Yeah, this this movie was actually pretty. I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I ain't gonna say it's better or worse, but like this gives me like some really like good like training day vibes almost but like in a more mm. in a more like i feel like it's in a more complex situation though because like Definitely. training day <clears throat> it's kind of easy to pick sides in training day it's just like oh these motherfuckers are actually corrupt cops like they actually kind of doing some shady shit yeah um and then you know you kind of feel for the rookie cop because it's just like you know he wasn't yeah. meant for this this it's like it, you could kind of flop between sides because this is like damn it's fucked up they used her but at the same time you like yo the the war with the cartel is get is it's, it's real like yes it, you know we can't have shit like this especially when it's leaking over into u.s soil too like so it's like this is like a way more like complex version of like training day because the rookies were still in the dark and they were still against how you know the the vets were kind of handling the situations yep. and doing they thug dizzle mm -hmm. but at the same time like so yeah yeah damn yeah. that's 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 a perfect movie to really kind of say it's very yeah, similar. i don't want to hurt people's feelings because i know people because i i love training day too don't get yeah. me wrong but like 
I feel the vibes are similar. No, similar it's vibes. very similar. But like you said, it's way deeper and a lot more complex than um, training day can be for the simple fact that there's multiple layers here. It's drugs, trafficking, like bodies on top of bodies. And then, mm-hmm. of course, the corrupt cops. But it's not only cops. It's corrupt. You know, the, the other people who are not uh, officers of the law, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like freaking... Um, Damn, what's his what's his name again? I I forget his name. Uh, buddy at the end there. Oh, the the Colombian hitter. Yeah, the Colombian. Yeah, bro. I actually, I, can't, I think it was Alejandro Loki. I I I can't remember his name. If they didn't really say his name that much in the movie, and on top of that, we don't have subtitles on, so you know that didn't um aid us yeah. in that. I but like they said it twice, like once and a half, because the second time was like a whisper almost. Like. Yeah, yeah. Just having him. It's just, yeah, like he's a different entity in all of mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just phenomenal. But, um, one thing that I really did enjoy that I thought that was probably one of the most intense part of the movie for me was of course the bar scene, them leaving oh, the bar, going into yeah. the crib. I, yeah. I, I, that, that right there is perfect storytelling. Like you said, the pacing in this movie was done very well. Like, there really, really wasn't any time that, you know, I did look at my phone, but it wasn't for that. Like, I was looking at my phone for another reason. I really didn't look at the time. I'm like, you know, like, damn, you know, it was two hours. Like, you know, this felt really good for two hours. I felt like everything yeah. that they put in this movie was needed for them to tell the story. And having that piece when they take out the rubber bands out the bag, mm-hmm. she finally sees it when it comes out of his pocket. You know, your, your mind starts racing like, okay, she she is she gonna continue playing it off, or Man. is someone gonna come play, come save her? So, you know, you're you're there and you're just like, I don't know what's going to happen at this moment, but I know this is about to be an intense, crazy ass moment, and it and it mm-hmm. surely was because she was on the the brink of death. When uh, before life. yeah before Buddy came in, so <laughs> I gotta say, man, that's probably one of the best scenes in this movie and how they build up that whole that whole scene loved it yeah yeah they did great with that because they you know they dumped the bag out and shit you see the bands around the money and then even when he puts like the money back in the bag like there's a couple bands, bands. that are like on yep. the floor so he, he picks those up too so it, it like it really puts your focus on these freaking you know these pink and blue bands like and you because it's even like those thick like those thick rubber ones too that they used yeah, to yeah. give out for like breast cancer and shit. So you just yep. like, damn, these thick ass bands on his money, like. So it, they really do focus on that. And then Buddy drops that line like, "Don't go in the bank." And I'm already thinking like, oh damn, I think it's because she's a target because you know the cartel they got moles and rats and you know the FBI got moles and rats. Everybody got mole and rats somewhere. So I'm just mm-hmm. like, damn. So you're right. Like once that band came out of his pocket, it's just like, oh no. And it's like you said, you thinking like, you know, maybe this is a good moment for her. Maybe she finally gets her rocks off. It's been a while. Like, yeah. So you don't You're really happy expect for it. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's just like, yeah. cool. She going to get her shit piped and she going to come in the next day and, and do what it do. Um, but then that band comes out. And then honestly, I can't even lie. As she was fading out, I didn't even see that it was the Colombian dude. Yeah. I thought it was her partner. Okay. And then that had me worried because the way he came in, it didn't look like he was aggressive towards the dude choking her so i'm just like wait is her did her partner just betray her too like because he's the one who introduced yes them. yes like, so i was just yes. like wait what are we about to get into so luckily yes. that wasn't it they towed it down slightly from that uh, <laughs> thought but um but yeah. you're right there's a lot of tense moments a lot of like really good tense moments man yeah, that Beautiful. that that did that thought did go in my mind because he was like a black silhouette mm-hmm, there, you exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. So yeah, that thought they go in my mind. and then of course I bring it up like like w- the partner, did he does he know like what happened to her that night? Like that mm-hmm. you pretty much set her up, you know, pretty much. Um so that that yeah, that that definitely crossed my mind. But they had so many good scenes here. The scene with them on the um, when they're transporting Buddy over to the facility, you know, mm-hmm. going through them altercations on the highway and all that, yes. that was fire. Um, yes. Yeah, they they really hit this one out of the park. And then on top of that, I think the cast here was really really good. 
Yeah, um, they're they really a, good at making themselves sweat. <laughs> however, you however they make that in Hollywood, like I'm pretty sure that isn't hard. Like out there in the desert, yeah, just turn. That's facts, right? Yo, just Arizona walk outside. Too. Yeah, just yeah, walk Arizona outside. Arizona in the summer, you gotta take like three showers, bro. Yeah, so. just walk outside. I'm pretty sure you start sweating <laughs> real quick. Nah, um, that's facts. Yeah, Everybody but I sweated think, when they needed to. <laughs> I think they did this. This movie was damn near a masterpiece for me, man. Holy shit. I can't believe I've gone this long without watching this movie. And what what, what year did this movie come out? Did it does, does it say? I think twenty twelve. Let me see. Real quick. Yeah, give us give us a second. Twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen. Okay. So I mean, yeah, it's nine years. It's been a while. But man, yeah, this movie was this movie was phenomenal, man. I, I, I can't I can't appraise it enough. Um Thanos. I forget his name in the movie. Um, I think he like played Matt something. Yeah, he played a great character. I love the way he just, just all smiles. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much just nonchalantly just going through 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 his daily like, and um, and we kind of see why he did that because he was holding back information that he didn't want to want to tell her, and that's basically that we're using you to get to them. But at the same time, it's like what you said earlier is they're in this predicament where people are, you know, they're really hurting other people out here. Like they, like we said, we got 35 bodies in the crib, you know, drugs, obviously drugs hurt people. And then on top of that, everything else that you see when they're going into Mexico, you know, the people hanging and then she looks up the stuff on the laptop. So you really see the, the the damage that these people are causing. So it's like, yeah, we are kind of doing things out of pocket and, and not by the law. But at the same time, do these people really deserve to be on this earth right now? And that's how, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't. All right? They fucking don't. So um, and that's the slippery slope. That, that, that is. That line that right is. there will cause a debate yes. through time. Right? Oh, what? Who, who, who takes life, who judges all, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So. Yeah, yep. it's it's hard. It's hard. That line is hard. Like to to know, you know, like you can you can really, you know, what I'm saying, play hot scots on that motherfucker. Like, yeah, it's like, hard. Cause there's some people out there who who think that the military, the U.S. military, should go to war with like cartels, like to mm. like pretty much get them out of here. Like, wow, um, that's so much. You say that, but. Uh, once again, look at the movie and yeah. how it was presented. Like, yeah. think because like you gotta, like obviously you know people could look at this and think like, nah, this is just a little bit of fear mongering. Like it'll never be like this in real life. Like, but imagine though, imagine if every police raid, a shed blew up as well, like mm. in in these fucking states that this shit is going on, right? And he's talking yeah. about what police raids. They're probably happening every couple couple times each month. A house is exploding each time each month. In in civilian neighborhoods yeah. on U.S. soil, like so, like this, this, yeah, like they, that's why I said this movie is way more complex because there's those morals that you got to play around with. Like, yeah, what, what's what's it worth? We, I think that was a, a another great addition of of the the Mexican cop too because yes. they didn't even give us too too much of his story, but they gave us just enough to show us how it can affect a normal regular person's life who just seemed like he was obviously too deep in because he wants to take care of his family. Right. Potentially was threatened because we don't even know that could have also been a Hey, we're going to kill your kids and your wife unless you do X, Y, Z. Yep. Still yep. try to be a good dad, play soccer, do what he got to do. Whoop -de -whoop. And then towards the end, my man's not even there. And deep down, I feel like they know exactly why. Maybe not the son, but definitely the mother. Mother. Definitely. But I think just from the them gunshots in the back, like they kind of let you know, like this is the life that they live and they probably know why they daddy doesn't come home or if they daddy doesn't come home why he's not going to be coming home like yeah. so yeah there's 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 those moral jumping jacks man when it comes to shit like this like yeah it's they they, they played it beautifully man they really did damn just thinking about it because the whole time you're watching him you're just like where are they going with this character he's really not in the movie they're showing glimpse but it's just to show you that Regular people could be in this situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a, a good point to hit, especially when you're dealing with the cartel, because 
like 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 the conversation we had about the people being hung and you know the headless people in the streets and stuff like that how you were saying that some people on the internet would say you know they possibly deserve this because they're in the life Mm -hmm. but you really don't know that like you know yeah you don't you really don't you in the life (laughs) yeah exactly you really don't know if if they're in the life and on top of that if they you know it, it could be any type of situation they could be in they could be forced manipulated all types of shit. So, yeah, I love the I love the themes here in this movie. I think um, having uh, Emily Blunt and the other dude come into this situation as people who don't really know what's going on, mm-hmm. just like us, I think was the best play for this movie. So, yeah, man, they 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 did they they did they, they, they thug thizzle. Um, was not expecting the ending. Yeah, that was sick. That was that was insane, um, buddy killing both the kids, the wife, and then the, yeah, he went he, he he went he took it there he took it there, yeah. I wasn't expecting that, but I'm guessing in his mind is like you know this dude is a cartelly boss. You leave the kids, you know what I'm saying you leave the kids alive. It's potential for them to to take over, I guess you know. I don't even think he was thinking that deep. I think he I know was he wasn't, eye but or an eye, bro. Yeah, like, in my in my eyes, that's probably yeah, basically eye it for is. eye. Yeah, because that's another that that's see his character yo is actually so fire because it goes more into the complexity of where your morals stand. Because if you think about it, this is literally if he really is, which I'm sure he is, right in the Colombian cartel, like they said. Mm-hmm. Then that means that the U.S. is basically like I don't want to say they get you know they sanctioning or they giving the green light, but they basically giving the green light for the Colombian cartel to knock off competition, one way or another. Like just because yeah we get something good out of it as well, like okay, but like you got to think about it. Like they're pretty much knocking off competition here, so they're putting money, more money into the Colombian cartel fucking hands like Mm -hmm. so it's like there's like little shit i feel like that's in there that you may or may not pick up on or they don't go too deep into but that's what i'm kind of thinking that's what i was feeling and i'm just like damn this is the he's the main character basically not fast it's about it's about that nigga bro it ain't really but bro it's the colombian we're we're just we're we're the vessel we're just going through this ride like (laughs) like with her you know what i'm saying we're her We're we're literally her. He's definitely the main protagonist in this. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but I, I okay, let's you know just real quick. I think in the U.S. stance, like that's kind of valid though, like to kind of do something like this for the simple fact that the Mex- Mexico is in our backyard. So you know, it's something that you would, would, would want to hurt and hinder their operation for the simple fact that they're closer. You know what I'm saying? Just in that mindset. Just in that mindset, how, but just you like, see how that nah, works, nah. though. I know. Now, now you, now you, <laughs> you see how it works, nigga. You support the Colombian cartel <laughs> and the war on drugs. Uh, uh, it's, it's, I feel you. I feel you. You it, just it, gotta be it, careful. <laughs> it ma- it kind of makes sense why they would do that. Um, but at the same time, man, I, I gotta just say, man, shout out to Pig one more time. Yeah, Appreciate you. Banger. Once again, apologize for Akita. Don't worry. I'm working on it. It's going to take some time, though. I, I hired a, 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 a lip reading person. <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, I'm just going to try my best to do something to bring it back. But I got you, though. Don't, don't worry. It will, it will be coming in the near future. But um, I think I'm I think I'm good with this, man. I, I think overall, I, I like I, I thoroughly enjoy this. I, I it's really nothing much else I could say about this. How about you, former? Final thoughts, score? Yeah, this was this was a banger. Like I said, the pay if y'all have noticed about me, whenever I say things are like super bangers, I always bring up the pacing. And it's not because I don't have the attention span to sit through a two and a half, three hour movie, but like I got shit to do sometimes. <laughs> like so like it really gotta be, you know, it gotta be good. Like it gotta have that good pacing. And I thought this one really did have some good pacing. I love how the beautiful scenery broke up the intense moments because it kind of gave you that that yin and yang of like, damn, this is the darkness that's 
<laughs> overshadowing mm-hmm. the beauty. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could go up to certain people right now and ask them, would you ever visit Mexico? And they'll probably tell you no because of stuff like this. Whereas the country itself is fucking beautiful as fuck. And there's people going out there all the time having an amazing time. Right? So I love how they kind of... There's contrast there. Um, I'm going to get this... <sighs> I'm gonna get this like a. I'm gonna get this like a nine point nine. It's up there with. Ooh, I'll say be with whiplash, bro. I was about to say be careful, be careful. It's up there with whiplash, bro. Ah, okay, nine nine. Yeah, that is high. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I I I I would give this. See. <laughs> it's hard to really score this because I, but I I just think it's just a really good movie from the beginning. I'm gonna give it a nine six, okay. I think um, it's damn near a perfect movie. I really don't know what I what what would what can they add in order for them to give me that you know point four, but her partners maybe her partners closing. You think he signed papers? <laughs> you think they ran up on him and asked him to sign papers? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they can do to really run me over to give it a 10. But at mm-hmm. the same time, I, I just think this movie is phenomenal. So, it is. Uh, yeah, there you have it, man. 9-9 nine, nine for your boy, Formal. 9-6 over here. Y'all already know. Uh, let's get into the IMDBs. Let's Ooh, see what they got for us, got. man. Glad you said that. that uh, Emily crazy. Emily Blunt killed it. This uh, yeah, she killed it. She killed it. Let's see, Sicario. All right, IMDb seven point seven. Of course. Metacritic eighty two. Mm. Rotten Tomatoes ninety two. Tomato Tomato Meter eighty five. Audience score. Mm. Seem like people don't like it. And there's a yeah. part two. Wait, there's a part two. With the same people. Ooh, the scores are a lot lower. Y'all let us know in the comments <laughs> how part two did. <laughs> it might be one of those, yo, part one did good. Let's just throw some money at it to try to get more money back. Like facts, one of those facts. situations. Because nah. I don't, yeah, this is, I don't think this is the type of movie you should make a part two, especially if you're going to use the same characters. Like, yeah. I feel like there's like their story like obviously their story is enough where it could continue because you know this dude's still in the colombian cartel josh's character is still in the dod advisor or cia whatever he is yeah but i just feel like you shouldn't though like it, nah. if you yeah like nah, the, the, just end it the way they ended it she goes about her life and and pretty much puts this behind her and mm-hmm. you know they do they keep doing anything and she goes back to living a lo- being a law-abiding citizen and uh, FBI agent. So, yeah. yeah. Hey, who knows? If y'all think y'all, if y'all think it's good enough, y'all let us know in the comments down below if it's good enough to watch uh, a part two of this. But so far, part one, highly, 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 highly on the list of movies. Mm-hmm. So, once again, Pig, we appreciate you for being a part of the crew, a part of the the requesters out there who be requesting these movies. You always bring us some heat. Yes. So we appreciate that, man. Um, like I said, Akita will be coming in the near future. So, you know, just hold on. Eventually, you'll see it on your feed. And when that happens, I'm pretty sure you're going to be a happy person. Um, but if you're still rocking with us this long, listen, man. We appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Thanks for tuning in, man. We love y'all, man. If y'all haven't already, like the video. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought of this movie. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. You know the goal. And if you're to them full-length reactions, Patreon link is in the description down below. FRR is out. Peace.